This is the NSA. This call isn't currently being recorded, but the IRS is giving out your information and so are adult dating websites. All that coming up now on ThreatWire. I'm Shannon Morse, and this is ThreatWire for May 27, 2015, your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and internet freedom. First off, I want to give a huge thanks to all of you guys who have supported the relaunch of this show. We couldn't be more proud of all of you in our awesome community. And of course, if you're new to ThreatWire on the Hack5 channel, this is a show that we did about for about a year on the Tech Feed channel, and now we brought it back. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. There may be a slight issue when your tax collection system is hacked, and that's just what happened to the IRS. Uh-oh. Their online service called Get Transcript allows taxpayers to download tax return and transaction data, and this service was targeted from February all the way to mid-May. Access was gained to over 100,000 taxpayer informations, with 200,000 total attempts made. Get Transcript requires several authentication protocols before a taxpayer can actually get into their information, so the attackers had to know info including social security information, date of birth, tax filing status, and street address before accessing the IRS systems. They also had to answer several questions that only the taxpayer would normally know. Questions that you've probably had to answer when accessing your credit report, for example. No other systems were breached. Now, the IRS did shut down Get Transcript online temporarily while the working on a fix, and they're also offering free credit report monitoring to anyone affected. The IRS is also sending letters to all of those that were included. Knowledge-based authentication like this one can be easily abused because the questions asked or they never change, and they can also be found on other data breaches. Not to mention social networks such as Facebook are a huge feeding ground for anyone looking for personally identifiable information about any user. More than 3.8 million email addresses, sexual orientation information, marital statuses, and more have reportedly been leaked in a hack of the adult dating website adultfriendfinder.com. According to the parent company Friendfinder Networks, an internal investigation has been launched and they are working with Mandiant, a security firm, to investigate. They state, quote, It is important to note that at this time there is no evidence that any financial information or passwords were compromised. However, it is possible that credit card data was also included in the unredacted original file. This leak could be used as blackmail against users who were secretly using the site as a way for an attacker to gain quick payments. And lastly, the NSA isn't accepting your recorded phone calls right now. Please call back in a week. Lawmakers are on a week-long recess after the Senate voted 57 to 42 against the USA Freedom Act. Tons of debating and filibusters and a failed attempt to pass revisions for the Patriot Act. So just a reminder, the Freedom Act was made to add changes to the Patriot Act, which was used as legal grounds for the NSA spying. The House already passed a companion bill to the USA Freedom Act, but they ran into difficulties with the Senate. They feel it'll harm national security and the fight against terrorism. The Patriot Act, along with its Section 215, the part that justifies phone call records, is expiring on June 1st. The Senate plans to reconvene on May 31st to make a final decision. Our featured comment today comes from Anakid Wolfie, who in response to the Android factory reset flaw said, time to erase the old fashioned way, thermite. <laughs> While I'm not suggesting anyone destroy their electronics with thermite, that would definitely work, but please use caution. <laughs> Thanks for the comment, Anakid Wolfie, and have you any thoughts on today's stories? Of course, you can leave them below in the comments. And before I go, I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who has supported the show so far on Patreon. If you find value from this and you want to spare a few cents an episode or maybe even just a month, please consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash threatwire. And we may even feature your adorable fur babies like all of these ones that I just want to give huge hugs to. They're all so cute. <laughs> We're hoping to reach our three times a week milestone goal with a rotation of Patrick Norton, Darren Kitchen, and me. So throughout the month of May, we'll be giving you a taste of just that. I hope you'll continue to help keep this show coming completely independent, completely ad-free. And if you can't donate, a like, a share, or a little subscribe on the subscribe button on YouTube goes a long way too. And you can find all of our episodes, links to our social networks, and other ways to contribute over at threatwire.net. And with that, I'm Shannon Morris. I'll see you guys on the internet.